Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. 2023 cycling season has started with Down Under for men and women, San Juan, the Mallorca challenges and we've had some great racing. What I'm going to talk you through now are my riders to watch for 2023. There'll be a women's video to start and then a men's video coming up later either today or later in the week and this is Neo pros or <clears throat> relatively new riders to the peloton that I think will step up in 2023. We're going to start with one of the stars of the cyclocross season who I think is the favourite for the world championships next weekend in Hugerheide, Fen van Empel. The 20 year old is debuting for Jumbo Visma this season and she's started with a bang in. Well, she's carried on in a bang, I should say, in the cyclocross. And I think that will transfer over to the road incredibly well and incredibly quickly. Races at Suta, classics, small group sprints, and I think the hilly stages or hilly classics as well. Um, the most impressive thing that I've seen in her at the moment is her seated acceleration. It was shown the best in Benidorm <coughs> and her ability to just sit there, accelerate up a climb will, well, Quermont, Paterberg at the end of Flanders, maybe not this year, but in the, well, in the future, definitely. My prediction for her is that she wins or podiums a classic and an even bolder prediction is that she is better than Mariana Voss on the road in 2023. <coughs> <coughs> Number two is 20 year old Puck Pizza who rides for Fenix de Koenig. She again is one of the big three in the women's cyclocross and I think she could be a real star on the road as well. It is currently unknown whether she's going to do a road program, what road program she does, because she is a mountain biker. But if she does do the road and focus a bit more on that, the classics would be a perfect game and perfect playground for her aggressive racing style. Um, hard to know how to predict this one. Um, so... We'll have to wait and see what Puck's programme is like for 23 on the road. Everyone is waiting to see what 18-year-old sensation junior wizard Zoe Baxter can do for EF um, this year. She is built for the classic. She's built for sprints. She can time trial. The one thing she can't do is climb, but that doesn't really matter when you're a classics rider. And as we've seen on the cross, she can mix it a level behind the big three and Brand Alvarado and Betsima. So as an 18 year old, what a start to your professional career. Um, in terms of predicting this year, I think she will be a classics domestique and probably in the lead out somewhere whether she gets her own opportunities she probably will it's ef um but i think she'll show ability but she'll need obviously that experience to really kick on pro at 18 by the time she's 20 who knows Mild Oderman has been in the professional ranks for a couple of years, having won the Zwift Academy in 2021, I think. Um, she's moved from Canyon to Yumbo Visma, and I think that <coughs> is really going to transform her riding capabilities. She was someone at the Zwift Academy that was known for having a big engine, so a good rider to have in the classics and individual time trials as well. This year, I think she'll be a workhorse, maybe slipping into some breakaways and hopefully she'll be strong in the individual time trials as well. The final rider I'm going to talk about in any detail is 
20 year old Kaya Schmidt from Human Powered Health. She is one of the very few riders in the juniors that has ever been able to live with Zoe Baxter on the road. She <coughs> went toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe with her, I can't speak, uh, in Leuven at the 2021 World Championships. She can sprint, she can lead out, so I'll expect some good sprint results in 2023. A couple of honourable mentions for you now with the British twang. 20-year-old uh, Alice Towers and Abby Smith will look to step up again this year. Abby Smith looks like she's a good climber. She has already had some good results in the Tour Down Under and the top 10 overall. And Alice Towers is a current British road race champion. She will probably look to lead out or even sprint for a few results herself. Abby is a climber, Alice is probably a classic sprinty type of rider. So thank you for watching my women's uh, riders to watch in 2023. Uh, join me later in the week for the men's where I will take you through a few Neo Pros or a few just after Neo Pros that I think will do well in 23.